What's up, chat? What's up to the YouTube viewership, man? I appreciate you guys, man. I'm at home today. Nursery had this big convention going on this weekend, so they are not in the venue. So they told me to stay at home. Do the show by yourself. And I said, listen, I'm cool because I got a lot of shit to talk about. A lot of important things, man. But if you're watching this on YouTube, man, please hit that like button. Comment below on what you think is better. Trips versus bunch. Which is better, which is, you know, easier to run. It's really not, the, the argument really is which is easier to run. Which is which is more brain dead. Which is more, you know, conducive for a lesser player pretty much. Or which, you know, which is a bummier offense pretty much. And uh, also, I want to talk about last chance qualifier. The leaderboard ended last night, man. And that's a huge night in Madden, man. Everybody trying to get those wins the last couple seconds. Everybody trying to stay uh, stay in that top 32. And everybody trying to make sure their friends get in, somebody else get in, this, that, and the third, man. So it was definitely was a huge night last night. We're going to talk about free wins. We're going to talk about collusion. We're going to talk about leaderboards in general. We're going to talk about if EA can do anything about it, what can they really do about it. So those are pretty much the biggest topics that I, I want to get to today because those are pretty much the easiest or you know the most important things to talk about at this given moment working on some big things with you for you guys man with the podcast bringing on new guests if you want young, if you know any guests you would love to hear me talk to talk about and pick their mind man please comment below on who you would like to see on the podcast in the man community i also want to branch out outside of the man community man that's definitely i want to grow this to something bigger than just stick to man because we all know Especially this time of year, Madden really dwindles down, man. But I definitely want to keep bringing you the biggest topics in Madden. And for that, we're going to go ahead and talk about Trips versus Bunch, man. It's definitely, uh, what are we talking about? It's definitely, uh, something I want to talk about because honestly, I've run pretty much every offense there is, every offense that, you know, isn't Madden. Obviously, we've all played against pretty much every offense. So it's definitely uh, something we've all come across, whether it be weekend league, whether it be tournaments, whether it be anything, whatever it may be. You know what I'm saying it's definitely stuff that's uh, stuff that we have all played against, man. And personally, for me, I think uh, I personally think trips tight end is easier to run. It's an easier offense. Um, uh, I think bunch is more effective. Let me say bunch is. Can I say bunch is better? But trips tight end is easier to run. If that makes sense. Definitely uh, two different things. You know, we got to differentiate that. And for that, I got to bring in the experts, man. Number one and number two on the leaderboards, man. These guys are number one, number two on the leaderboards in Mutthead or in Salary Cap and Last Chance. Probably the two best players that aren't qualified yet for the Madden Bowl, trying to win this, trying to go ahead and uh, trying to make their way in the Madden Bowl. And that's Clef and J Wall. Obviously, J Wall has one of the best trips tight ends. And we all know Clef has some of the best bunch, man. So I thought these were definitely two of the best guys to bring on to talk about this topic, man, and really get into, you know, what makes each formation good and what makes them hard to stop and which one is easier to defend and easier to run. What's up, fellas? You guys still in here? Yes, I'm here. That's what is good, man. The eight-year-old assassin, man, he is definitely ready to talk about. So, so you're definitely the trip's master. And, and so you're definitely on the side that uh, trips is harder to run than bunch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I am. I've uh, I've talked with my other trips uh, pals, and we brought up some notes that we'd like to bring to the table here. Okay, definitely. We always just always uh, respect the man that comes to the party with notes, man. That's definitely mm-hmm. definitely lets them know that that you really are, man. Really, this really means a lot to you to, to fight this debate and really uh, make it something that that you guys can win, man. And I also got Clef in here, who is the bunch master, and definitely uh, the man that's going to argue that bunch is a lot harder to run, and trips tight end is definitely the easiest bum-friendly offense in Madden this year. Right, Clef? Wait, mm. it's, the, it's the easiest offense? Oh, it's not, it's not it's between bunch and trips tight end. That's all. Okay, I yeah. Some yeah. And stuff. yeah, I was going to say. Yep. Yep. All right. So, basically, in my opinion... I think trips tight end is easier to run. That's the argument we're making here. We have to differentiate the arguments. We're not talking about which one is better, which one is, you know, this, that, and the third. It's all about which one is easier to run. And my biggest argument for this is that if if I did have an alien came down from outer space, right, don't know anything about football, anything about man, anything about video games, if I had to teach this alien one thing, 
about to one offense to run between bunch of trips tight end, I would no doubt about it. Teach him trips tight end with a three play scheme, man. PA crosser, inside zone, and level sale, man. That's the, the three plays I would teach him. And my alien would be better at Madden than if you tried to teach him a bunch. Do you disagree or, or agree, Jay Wall? All right, here, here's my issue with that. First of all, I want to say we're talking about route specialist bunch. Uh, I think that's that's key. Okay. The route specialist bunch and okay, with okay, playmaker. So, okay, okay, too. okay. So now we need a bunch of extras to make bunch better. Well, no, I mean, nobody, I mean, I just don't think it's nearly as good without Playmaker and without, um... Okay, so add all these things. So you're making my argument a little bit for me because now you I have to learn about Playmaker. I have to learn about, yeah, I, I need I need, need to learn more. about route yeah. specialists. I need to do a hot route, flip it. I need to put this route specialist guy in the slot. I need to put this route specialist over here. You're making my argument for me, but continue. Yeah, yeah. So you, I, I just, I think you're, you're, talk, you're going at it from a different place where I'm like, I'm saying that, when you're running the offense against elite elite player versus elite player, the the person in running offense in trips basically is what I'm thinking. They're thinking more. They're um, actually having to think about what the defense is doing to them and how to <laughs> counter it. Versus someone in bunch, I'm gonna put the best. I'm gonna put the best uh, post in the game. I'm gonna put the best corner out in the game that gets over a cloud in point two seconds, and then I'm gonna playmaker somebody backwards and throw it to them. And you don't have to think about anything. <laughs> I, mean, I feel like you have to make make reads. I mean, do you not have to make a read? I mean, you have to make reads. What, what do you mean? I'm just saying you're making it seem like it's just playmaker or anything. Like, I I just feel like first of all, between the run and then level sale, the quick quick pass to the running back, I feel like, and then the, the PA crosser that that nothing yep. hard. So you know what I mean. Not only yep. is it PA crosser, you have two cross, you have two crossing routes with oh, two different not receivers. Even that. Not even you, that. Have, you got whips that hard flats don't recognize. You got the cloud flat glitch, the real running back wheel and verticals. Any first of all, anybody can run trips, and, and that shows with who who is really prospering right now. Any anybody can run trips. Anybody can run trips. Anybody in the community can come on run trips, spam verticals, throw curls like it's Madden on nine because the curls don't get defended. They get the animation every time. You can hop past any round of trips. That's what makes it so good. Because it's spread out. And bunch, you can't really just attack the zone from all type of ways because it's bunched together. When it trips, everything's spread out. So you got, they, they first of all, they throw in high pass curls on every route. Everything's high pass. Everything's high pass. See, but I feel like you can do that in everything. You can, you can do a high pass in every formation. I don't think that's but, a good argument. No, nah, no. Nah, but the, the way trips, you got to look at the formation of trips. It's all spread out. You can't do that in bunch. It's all bunched together. It's totally, it's totally different. I mean, I certainly understand but, the, the advantages of having a spread out formation as opposed but, to a bunch formation. And I, I, pass blocking. Pass blocking the play action. Everybody knows play action blocking the best blocking in the game. It take no pocket. Like, for example, I played J Wall and he was running bunch. Dude got sacked 12 times. Yeah. I think he scored and he was in bunch. Like, they don't have trips allow you not to have pocket because you got to you fortunate enough to have the play action passes with the crossers. With the, it's really it's simple. It's simple. Um Play action, play action blocking is literally only good versus three man rush and is awful, especially against like the over G blitz, like three three five. If you're sending five six, it's terrible because your running back literally blocks nobody. Um, especially the counter go play, your running back because it's, it has the counter blocking, it's awful. The only good one is shot wheel that has good uh play action blocking. So like, I I just don't think the blocking is the difference. You're literally in bunch. You have a uh what do you call it? A personal protector on both sides. You don't have to think about if they're gonna send this this nickel corner, like, can I still put this guy on a route, like that sort of thing? Um, you just max bro and run pad sale, and like you're pro you're gonna pick up any blitz in the game, minus like the P Pavon three three five or the young okay, dog. So, thing. J -Wall, it, 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 all right, so you, the alien comes to you and says, "J Wall, teach me off as a bunch of trips. You want to teach this person bunch?" He don't know how to run bunch. I'm just saying. This my oh, point. I was like, saying. What's like, the well, like, to he, like, that's my point. That's, what that's, is easier to run? He can't run. Argument. It. He can't run. Like, and what and what are the plays to teach the alien? Honestly, I honestly, is what honestly, I would teach the alien. You know what I'm saying that that's pretty much how I'm thinking. You know? I, I actually kind of have an example of this. My friend uh, goes to school with me, and I had to teach him an offense, and I taught him bunch because I told him to run pat sail and curl flat. Yeah. And uh, and he actually won games. I, I don't think teaching him like. How to run, uh, how to run, um, like the way at least the way I run trips with, like, 
I don't know. I'm not running. I'm not putting a play playmaker in a deep crosser. That that that's not how I play, that's not how I play. Like I, you actually have to understand football, like understand zones, um, and how they work in the game, mm. and that sort of thing. Like it's not like I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. See, I, see now. I see. See, Mo made a point in the chat that you could teach them to run past sale. I agree. That's probably the number one play you would teach them. But mm-hmm. that's the same as any. What's the difference between that and any crossing route play that's in trips tight end? Honestly, what's the difference? Nothing. Hey, I mean, run PA uh, shot deep, wheel with a drag. Play, you can you can throw you can throw a pick on PA shot wheel. Like the quarters will play it. Mm. I, I, I just I, I don't I've think never seen any zone in the game ever play Pat Sale. I, I agree with that. No one is definitely gonna. Uh, no one is definitely going to uh, cover Pat Sale. So you can't cross man or anything. But I and feel like the, I, I feel like the the crossing route and trips is just as easy to brain dead throw if they don't cover it as Pat Sale is really. Am I wrong? If they don't, if they don't cover it. No, I'm saying if they don't use it. The, the crossing route uh-huh. and trip side end is just as brain dead as Pat Sale is. Mm-hmm. There's, I've never, I've never ever seen his own play Pat Sale, and I've actually seen crossmans and um, like deep quarters. If you baseline press, they'll sometimes play the the crosser route, and that literally has never ever happened to Pat Sale. Yeah, I will agree that nothing covers Pat Sale. I can really can't. <laughs> Pat Sale do get guarded by Zone, so. I don't, I don't know. It do get guarded by Zone. It's, it is Zones that do guard Pat Sale. I mean, it ain't. It ain't like Pat Sale just the hardest play to stop in the game. That's definitely not the hardest play to stop. Yeah, PA shot wheel is probably the hardest play to stop in the game with with the, with the drag by the tight end because you know the hard flat don't recognize the tight end on the drag. Oh, because he's too far it's, over. It's, it's really not even too a far over. pass. Because yeah. he's he too far over, so you run that, and basically you just look at basically the the simplest read on that is you looking at the tight end and you looking at the user, and if the user don't go to the tight end, you throw it to that, and if he don't go to the the cross, he throw the cross. And then if you don't go to the crosser, you throw the post. I be mean, it's simple. It's simple. Yeah. That's probably the, that's probably the easiest play, right. yeah. especially with the blocking on it. Especially with the blocking on it, you don't gotta you don't gotta max protect it. You know what I'm saying? Really, just keep your running back in and everybody getting picked up. No, I mean I don't know. And and then everybody getting picked up. And then the thing is, you can't you can't deep quarter it because. You can't deep quarter it because then you got to move your corner back and then you got to move too many people around and you get quick hike. You know what I'm saying? So there ain't no baseline press. You can't baseline press it no more. And, and you put a deep quarter on that side, then they just running verticals with the running back on the wheel with a sharp so, corner so and three curls. You. They're out thinking you. There's yeah. no out thinking. There's no out thinking. There's no other. When they learned, first of all, let me, let me make this point. When they, first of all, Trips was never, never good in the beginning of the year. Let me tell you when Trips became almighty. High ball curls. That's when it became all money. Before that, most people didn't have a clue how to run troops. Well, like it was, offense, it, but that's when offense became tough. When people started learning yeah, that, yeah, route specialist high yeah. balls. Like, no, no, no. but when trips had that, because I'm telling you, I played a lot of people in trips before then, and they wasn't as good. But what changed it is the way the defense spread out. If somebody put three curls on the field to the trip side, there's really nothing to guard there. Um, there's, no, there's you, not too much you, to guard there. You man up the. I mean, there there just is. There's plenty of ways to guard that. Please tell me, cause you please tell me, cause you got defense. Let me know, please. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, you if, just, if, you, you if you if you don't know how to stop it, I'm not gonna tell you how to stop you it. Just, but there, you just a great man player, so you let me know. I mean, there there is plenty of ways to right, stop right, that. Right, okay, okay. But it's whatever. Okay. okay. You're not gonna tell us how, how to stop the three. You just, I mean, if you really can't stop that, why would I tell him? There's ways to stop. What well, I'm saying, you can easily man it up and blah, blah, blah this. I mean, mm-hmm. everybody knows how to stop it, but it take a little, like, you can't tell me these dudes are good players. I can't, I just can't see it. I can't, I can't see it. I can't see it. I can't, before, before, like, with the, with the, how it's, the zone, like I said, how it's spread out, the play action, the protection, you know, the high passes, because everything they're throwing is high. Everything they're throwing is high, but you can't do it out of bunch. You can't high pass every single thing out of bunch. You can high pass Almost every route in trip. Every route. Okay, for sure. Every route. I think and one thing we haven't talked about is that why, if I play weekend league and I'm playing bazookas all the time, why are they running trips tight and why they're not running a bunch? And a big reason because of that is because you can run inside zone and you can run the ball effectively, way more effective than base or draw or anything like that. And for me, that alone makes it a lot 
easier to run. And remember, that's the argument. We're not arguing which one's better. We're talking about which one's easier to run. And the fact that you can run the ball this much and that effectively, obviously, inside zone is, is easy to blow up. It really is. I mean, it's, it's always been the easiest. I think it's been the most effective shotgun run, obviously, but it's also the easiest one to blow up. But to, just that, that, that threat of the run with the motion wide receivers, man, I think that makes it that much more easier to run than bunch, right? I mean, yeah, the run is definitely better. Yeah, I'll give you that. But um, just the thing about weekend league, like I think a big part of that, um, like Chaos's ebook is huge. That at least when you're playing weekend league and you're playing like I'm not gonna say the best players, but you're playing like guys who are getting 15 wins and you're playing those guys 10, 15 times. Yeah. Like they're gonna be they're gonna be running the popular stuff. They they go to Twitch. They see Kent's running this. They sub for five dollars. They get his ebook and bam, they're running that. Um, so chaos is the reason that. People are running trips tied down. Yeah, I don't think it's that, that. That's that's a really good argument. Just I think that has more to do with his ebook being so easy to get. You know. Yeah. So you think his ebook being at the five dollar holler? Mm -hmm. makes, so people will buy the five dollar ebook and then they'll run trips tied down. So if there was yeah, a bunch five dollar ebook, then people would run bunch. Yeah. Why not? False. Very false. It's way it's simpler. They know chaos. It's plenty of people who don't drop a bunch of ebooks. Shit, Skimbo just dropped one not too long ago. Like it's yeah. plenty of people who drop that, but it takes a certain amount of skill to run bunch, a certain amount of pocket. You gotta know what route combinations to put on the field. Even with the route specialist. Right, Even with the play. Wayne, Wayne, uh, Wayne gotta make Wayne, Wayne, Wayne wanna make a uh, see, okay. Mm. All right, we, we all make bunch sound like it's goddamn rocket science. You know what I'm saying no, no, it ain't rocket science. But you catch an average, I catch an average player in bunch and watch what happened. I caught Jake Wallet in bunch. An average player, twelve sacks. I've literally never ran up. I've never ran up before. Sacks. I can run trip. I ain't really never ran trips. I get in trips. Come on, I'm, I'm going to score more than three points. Ten, however many it was, it was bad. It was bad. You catch the, the average player in bunch. You can see the skill level. The average player is very close. It's very close. Yeah, I mean, this is my point: is that it's easier for me for for the most novice man player, not for a good player. Obviously, I think the best man players, I think bunch is going to be more effective, just because of the position on the field, the way you can bomb every single coverage, the way all these post routes and corner routes are working now. I think for the best players, that's always going to be the more effective offense. But my point was for the novice weekend league man player, trips tight end is easier to run primarily because I think the level sale is the bummiest play in the world and it's easier to run than any, <laughs> any play in bunch for, for a, a novice player. Between that inside zone and crosses, I think they really are the, the easiest players to run in man. I mean, pass sales right up there, but at the end of the day, I mean, a, a lot of these kids – you know, if you cover past sale, they're pretty much shit out of luck, man. And that's pretty much where I'm at with it, man. But you guys bring up a lot of good points, man. Is there any more points y'all want to bring to your arguments? Uh, I just want to say, like, basically, my argument isn't even geared towards, like, the, the novice player. It's mostly yeah. geared at, like, at, at an elite level, like, when you're talking the best players. Okay. I think when, when you're playing someone running trips and you're playing someone running bunch, the reason I think trips is harder is – you don't have a post route that you can put on every receiver. You don't have playmaker guys backwards. Like oh, well, you can have that. No, no, no. You, see, not that's, that's but you can have that. That's allowed in the game, Jay. Well, you can put that on your team. No, but I mean, and I mean, you already got those routes and trips. You already got the short corners. You already got every route. But you got every route that route specialist got. Every single route. Every single route. I, the tight end has a short corner. The the, mm -hmm. the second receiver has a short corner. Every route got the short. Like every route has a same. No, 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 it doesn't. No, it doesn't. That's why yeah, that's why nobody uses route specialists and troops. Like, if yeah, anything, yeah. they'll use playmakers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, you could definitely I, use playmaker. I, I, I just feel like, like my biggest thing is if I had to teach somebody that wasn't good at Madden, didn't really play Madden, maybe was just a gamer, didn't get into Madden that much, if I had to teach them offense and run and win some weekend league games, I definitely would pick trips tight end. Now, I mean, obviously the best way we could do this is – both of you guys go find one of y'all little cousins or little brothers or something. And, <laughs> and Jay, well, you try to teach somebody bunch to win some weekend league games and somebody else try to teach your cleft to teach somebody how to run charge trips like that and see how many weekend league games they can win. That would be the best way to pretty much figure yeah. out which one, I mean, which one a kid could run or, you know, a 
you know. And all I got to tell them is run inside zone, run PA shot wheel, and run levels. Level set. That's all he needs. He gonna win games. But I just don't. I don't get why that's games. why that's the argument. Like because I, the, the argument was which one's easier to run. Yes, and I'm talking about at a at a high level. What's easier to run? Like it's that's that's what my argument. Yeah, my argument is not like could I get my mom to go run inside zone ten times and beat a dude on regs that has that it runs as Madden. Like that's not my that's not my that's not my argument. My argument is that when we are playing high level Madden and you're running bunch, you're not thinking about what did like, I mean, I guess you are to some extent, but you're not really thinking about what did they do on this play, this play, this play, because there's just, it's so, it's, it's not, it's not as, come on, Junior, spit it out, man. All right. I'm trying, I'm trying to think, um, because you don't have all the best routes. You don't have all the route chems. You, you can't come out flip 10 times in a row uh and you're gonna have someone open like it's you actually have to be thinking about the defense and what they're doing to you every play in trips whereas you don't really have to own bunch and that's just why i think it's easier and also i just want to bring up like if if trips was so easy to run at like an elite level in, in mudhead w was in trips and lost by what 30 points i didn't lose by 30 points and nobody in a fucking mud head ever settled down when did this happen? hold on, hold on. Okay. i'll grab the score when did this happen what are you talking about it was it was kent um kent's argument that i he told me to bring up that i have to figure out now <laughs> what? but it's true i don't know if he's what? in here <laughs> No, see, all right, all right, Jay. Well, it's been real, man. Thanks. Thirty, for thirty-one. Podcast. Wait, thirty-one to seven. Thanks for joining the podcast, man. I really appreciate you joining the podcast, Jay Wall, man. This argument is now done, man. You know they want to just throw me under the bus. What the fuck did I ever do to anybody? You know, what I'm, I'm just trying. To, I'm just trying to get everybody to go ahead and talk about the, you know the good things in life, man. Bring everybody together as a community, and they just want to throw me under the goddamn bus. What the hell did I do? I don't know who the hell I even played thirty one to seven. I don't know when this ever happened versus anybody. They just want to throw me under the bus. This is shit I'm talking about, man. This why these young fucking kids all gotta get put in a headlock, starting as soon as I see them, man. J Wall has now passed Allen as the number one headlock list person. You know what I'm saying? It's just crazy, man. I listen, I will run the shit out of trips tight end. Weekend league this weekend, all trips tight end. 25 and 0. You know what I'm saying? Well, that, that doesn't prove anything. Why not? You just that because you're beating you're beating weekend league players. You're not playing like they might not even make it a game. Uh, well, for, uh, well, listen, I done ran a bunch in weekend league and I done lost some games. So shit, that makes a point. Exactly. What you what you yeah. gonna do? You gonna nah. you gotta run trips. Nah, man. Like you, listen. Dang, dang. This is per- uh, this, uh, this is like how I feel. It's like if if you're playing high level men and say, well, you play high level men, and then you just say, oh, well, bunch is easier to run, but yet you choose to run trips tight end. Why? Because I think when I have it and I think I'm really good at it, I can do more with it. Than some than like in bunch. That's all. And I have a better defense, especially in salary cap. Oh, so it's pretty much that I can save cool. cap and, and get the defense and do better. Yeah. Okay. Okay. He's better in trips because he is he he he's better in trips. This is the reason we forced him better because in in bunch he, he played in bunch. He doesn't have pocket. He can't really put routes together. You know what I'm saying? It's it's a lot harder reads. That's why. That's why they run trips. It's harder reads. It's it's way harder reads than than just running. You know what I'm saying? When you in bunch, it's it's just way harder. The pocket, you got to know how to step up in the pocket. You know what I'm saying? They don't have that yet. That's just cease and matter. You know what I'm saying? It is and you can't really teach it. You can't. You can't, teach, can't really. Teach. It's you can't grown teach man. Pocket. Matter. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you, can't yeah, you can't teach pocket. I, I want to know what my head. I lost thirty-one to seven when I was running trips. I want to know what when this was. Hold on. I need more. I need more. I, I need more info because this shit. I, this shit. This shit grinds my gears, chat. I, I, I mean, I, I, I just, I'm flabbergasted at this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what yeah. I like. I, I just, I just don't believe that could ever be an argument. Nah, I don't, I, I don't know where he's going with that one. I'm just saying, if it's so easy, like, it's obviously not that easy. It's super easy, but th- this is why we don't. This is why players like myself don't run it. Because it's too dumb down. I feel too dumb running troops. Mm. I feel too dumb running troops. Mm. It's just, it's just, <laughs> like, we like to be, shout out to me, my bro, Joe Rice, and 
You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. My boy CJ, my boy Allen. We like flashiness. You know what I'm saying? We like making things happen. Trips, dink and dunk, dink and dunk. Anybody can do that. Mm-hmm. Anybody, Anybody can. can. It takes a certain person to just sit there knowing, okay, I don't have a play action for this. I'm just going to sit here and I got a 26 cap running back. You know what I'm saying? 88 speed. He not even being used. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He really not even being used. I'm just sitting there and shout out to my bro Crush too, man. Kill, <laughs> Ghost. You know what I'm saying? Kill. We just sit here. We sit there and lay. It take a certain person to sit up there, put routes on the field. We not running the ball at all. You don't even got to run the ball. You ain't got to worry about the run. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to worry about that. We just sitting there lasering. That's all. Like, you know what I'm saying? It takes a special person to do that. Not everybody can do that. And that's why they don't run bunch. And you could tell in weekend league, you could tell from the average players who try to run bunch, they look so terrible. But the average player in trips, he look all right. You know what I'm saying? He look all right. So, uh, no, I need more answers on this 31-7 to 7 game. Who was I playing? Uh, I'm looking. I'm looking. What the fuck? What are you, what are you looking at? What are you looking at? I, head, I, have, to, I, I have to get Ken. I don't know. I don't know who. He told me 31-7 to 7 and say it. And I said it. Damn. No, listen. Best of three, Clef and Trips. Well, Clef is just, a, I mean, he he's just a, a more seasoned man player than J. Wall. Seeing, J. Wall man. Can't, he can't go left from him. J. Wall can't go all over the place. Nah, he getting a bunch. That's, that's, nah, that, that's a good move right there. Nah, because when you don't understand that shit at home, I don't understand why I got thrown under that. I don't know why I got thrown under the bus. Like, from one man game, that that's our example. <laughs> I told you I'd rather teach an alien to run trips like that because it's, it's boo boo day shit. You're saying you said, "Oh, I lost the game of Madden. That's why. That's why bench is better." This might be J Wall last year. No, you know what I'm saying that was crazy. That was GGs, man. That was yeah. a flood. That was a flood to beat. Yeah. That's Shannon Sharp versus Skip Bayless. That's all that is. Crazy. <laughs> Uh, but, so that, that's all. That's all the arguments we got. All I heard about was I lost a game. All Jay was said was that I lost a game of Madden, which I lost. I've, lo- I've lost a lot of games of Madden. I'm thirty, almost thirty-two years old. Lost a lot of games and bunch and trips tight end and, and bullshit and goal line and deuce. I've lost games and everything. So that's not a good argument. Nah, and and if bunch was so much easier, I mean they would people would be in it. But when they have tried it, I guarantee what? a lot of people try. When they tried to get in it, they understood it. This is way harder than I. I, I didn't. I, I didn't expect this. There, I didn't expect this. There's it's five. Like, it's like having a kid. It's like having a kid. You know what I'm saying? You thought you was ready, but you really wasn't ready. That's really what it equivalent to. You know what I'm saying? Because I'd have seen a trips guy in bunch, and it's like having that kid at a young age. He wasn't ready for it. He didn't expect it. That's basically what it is. That's how I can. That's how I can do that. That's how I can. You know what I'm saying? To make it easy for y'all to understand. Bro, what? Uh, <laughs> that's how I can make. That's how I can make it easy. It's just like you think you're ready to run bunch because it. And but, then you're not. That's basically what I'm getting at. The, there's, there's like okay, there's like five good trips tight ends, and like the rest of the people, at least in, in most tournaments, are running bunch. So no, nah, that's about that's, that's a lot of good trips tight ends. Oh, can you name them? Everybody, everybody who runs trips got a good trip tight end. Every, everybody, 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 okay. everybody who got a, everybody who oh, runs trips oh. got a good. Oh, oh, okay. So, can can you get can you name like someone? It's too many of y'all. Y'all all play like it's it's literally too many of y'all. Y'all all they we all I play like I can't really differentiate y'all. Like y'all all kind of the what? same. What? So so y'all the guy players. the guy in weekend league who runs fifteen crossers and spins PA shot wheel with a hitch. Like what? That's yeah. that's not how I play. I don't think I ever run that play. And that's the main play that they're gonna run in. Skill grabbing chips and low. Somebody got and I I just seen enough to, I seen a lot. Yeah, I just I just can't see it. I can't see it. The weekend league bum. They're everybody it, it's everybody in trips, all the pro man and players and then weekend league guys. That's it. That's it. They all in the same boat to me. I, this is how I feel like I mean, weekend league is like the number one thing to say that trips tight end is easier to run. Like the worst man players run it. Like, you know I don't yeah. know how that's not an argument. You know what I mean? Um. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I just don't think weekend league is the best place to put it. It's it's more about what I what I think it's about is just competitive man. I don't care about weekend league. But those are worse man players and that's what they choose to run because it's easier. Right? Point point proven. Point proven. I, that's that's just not what I think. I think we're playing actual good people. Um like what do you call it? 
when you're playing actual good people and not weekend league players, like, um, and you're running trips, it's you're not just gonna run an inside zone level sail the whole game. You're actually gonna have to put together route comp. Uh, I don't understand. Nah, D Croft twenty times. Run inside. Well, yeah, he don't want too much. Yeah, yeah, because... so, and he went he inside zone about 20 times ah. a game. So that, that, that's kind of thrown out the window. He kind of... He runs the ball, yeah, he runs the ball like 10, 15 times a game maybe. But he's still throwing, like he's he has plays that I don't, I haven't seen no one run. I don't, I don't understand that. Mm. Man. Well, so now that y'all changed your argument, right? Mm -mm. Okay. <sighs> See, I just feel like trust is easier on an entire level of Madden. Not just yeah. 50 people. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? It's not just 50 people. I'm talking about the 5 million people that play Madden. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? That's who it's easier for. Honestly, I think that is fair, but I'm talking about at a competitive level. Like, when you're playing good player, when you're playing elite player versus elite player. I don't care about weekend league. I don't care about anything else. But I think your argument is fair just because of the run. Like, inside zone and... The guy in weekend league probably isn't gonna stop that. Yeah, so, my so, point proven. Right, that's how I feel. Yeah, my point proven. I think I laid the foundation. I mm -hmm. laid, I laid the blueprint out for everybody. Mm -hmm. See, I think, I think everybody see what's easy. Mm -hmm. I, just, you know, so I, don't, I don't really think it's much more for, for us to say about much. We see what it is with trust, man. We we see what it is. Hey, man. That's how I feel. I just feel like the easiest person is going to win or going to run trips tight ends just because it's just some easier plays. That's all. And I'm feeling the grand scheme of Madden. Serious Mo, what is the word? How are you feeling this evening? I feel all right. I feel, all right. I feel yeah. like I feel like both people had a few hiccups in their argument. Well, they're not the best of debaters. I will give you that. But they are, you know, they are number one. I'm a real debater. No, no, Clef was no saying notes. stuff that's just not true. I mean, three curls. Three curls is bad. I mean, if you if you man up a curl, it's just you can't throw any to any button. So there's two other curls. Yeah, if you man them all up, they can't. You can't throw to any of them. You okay, so you, so you man them all up, and and then yeah. we all think them. Yeah, and then you have to actually think. Then it's, like, then it's fair curls. Here's what I'll say. Here's what I'll say. First, that was just a bad example for you to use. I would say, but um, bunch. I feel like. First of all, Bunch has the best blocking in the game, and it it will forever. Like, let's make That's that clear. Because it's even, let's, even side yeah, block let's just nine. make that clear. Like, for, for forever, we'll have the best blocking. Just off top, let's let's make that clear. Although I do think trips tight ends blocking is good, but you have to think about what your opponent's doing on defense. If mm -hmm. if I, my opponent's going to be blitzing me, I can't I can't run a play action play because I will get instant sacked. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. If it, no matter what, no matter what happens, if if somebody max protects in Bunch, my guys are not coming in. No matter what, I have to shed 100% unless my cornerback glitches through his offensive line. You just ain't got the D coach. Oh, that is it. Okay, okay. Well, it doesn't make any sense. Like, your argument makes no sense. Anyways, no, it moving on. I, my, I'll, you can, let me finish. You can talk after. So, also, you gotta say. also, uh, Pat Sale is by far the easiest play to run out of any play ever. I mean, especially if you're playing a bad player. I agree versus good players, it's not going to work. But versus, like, it's the best play as far as you don't have to think, just fucking call the play, run backwards, throw the post route. Because if somebody mans them up, they're going to be like, oh, it's going to get guarded. No, it's never going to get guarded. Anyways, that's all I have to say, really. It's just, so like, why you moved in the trip? To save cap on offense, honestly. And I'm not a, I'm not the best offensive player to begin with. So, like, I'm, I'm trying to have as good a defense as I can have. And I still, I still, I do use a route cam on offense and a playmaker. So, like... I don't really run trips the same way other people would. I, I will say I do think my offense is better in trips. With trips. But that but that's more so because it slows me down. Like in bunch, like every play is a huge play. And and I don't like throwing to the tight end flat route every play. I'm just I'm just not built I'm just not cut like that. So Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. That's, that's part of the play. Nobody's really How is that part of the play? That's no, part of the play. What? That's that's what these nerds do. W, if yeah, you don't no, man up the yeah, tight end, they're yeah. throwing it there. They don't even yeah, think. No, but... And and uh, another horrible thing that you said, Clef, is talk about high ball plays. Are you kidding me? Well, every play in bunch is a high ball play. That was like every play in the game. Yeah, every play in every play in bunch is not a high ball. I don't even high ball. I I never high ball in trips tight end. Literally never ever. But you run yours a little differently. 
Well, I'm saying, saying like every single possible. play in bunch, the double post, you're looking to high ball. You're literally looking to high ball. And that's like the main play in bunch. That's the main play everybody runs is the double post. Who have or a, po a post what? and a no curl, curl probably curl yeah the post and the curl but, yeah but it's a double back. post though it's like the it's the same thing but you can't the one where he going in motion yeah both of them or if you just yeah. snap the ball a conductor glitch yeah I yeah, feel so like I feel like every play in the game is a bro ball literally thing. once once I take a step one, literally when I play crush once I take a step away from the from the post he's just highballing it. It doesn't matter if I'm just baiting and coming back. I'm never getting there because he's going to highball it and I'm going to get agged because he has a little separation. Like, the I would say, I, I agree, like, Trips trips is not as good as Bunch, but you also you also do save cap. Like, I'm not saying you can't score every possession in Trips because you, you can, but you're de obviously Bunch is better, bro. Like, I agree, Bunch is 100% better, but you can't say that it's not better when you're spending way more cap on offense to run it. So you're what do you think is better? Cap. You're spending more cap because exactly to make your offense better. Yeah, it, it, that's what that's the whole point. Yeah, that, I feel like that's, that's the whole point. exactly. What that's what, that's what I'm saying. But I gotta spend cap with bunch because it's not as good. I have to spend cap with bunch because it's not as good. You are making a point? That's yeah. what we're talking about, though. But we're talking about route specialists, like the point. Yeah, even with route specialists. So what do you think is better really? offense? Trips is the easiest offense in the game. What do you think is better? We're so talking about easy. That's two different arguments. Now y'all getting off two different arguments. But, but what is okay? I'm saying, about. why wouldn't you run trips and and save yeah. cap? What, because make because if you can really truly master bunch, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Why but not wouldn't everybody you run can do trips, that. Though, if you can save cap and score every possession, I don't like trips. It's not for me. It's, it's just a possession. boring. It's a boring way to play for me. It's boring. I don't like it. That's just uh, me. I, and, I feel I can, and I play I defense without relying on other people. I don't need all them guys out there on defense. I don't I don't need that. I need all them motherfuckers. Like, Which one y'all got that's all, that it helps? That's what I'm saying. Uh, I don't I don't know what you're talking about. That like, doesn't make any sense. But I was just saying, like, the blocking is for sure better in bunch. Like if I max protect, I know that no one's ever coming into me. I, I can't say the same thing in trips. You can't even run a play action play. I only I, honestly you I have to know. guess really. If you yeah. run a play action play, it, you're hoping that they're blitzing three people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for Bro, sure. Run, I mean, but I do action. feel like people blitz three a lot more versus trips than they do bunch. Also, because it's more spread out. I feel like. exactly. It's, it's, like, it is harder to guard off, like off of the initial lurk. It's, it's harder mm -hmm. to guard trips tight end than bunch because initially in bunch you could be right there and you never really know yeah. where they're going. You know what I mean? So at yeah. that point, it is hard. That goes to the the spread out part of trips and makes it harder exactly. to guard to some to, to some degree. But then no, the compression of bunch. The thing about yeah, the compression exactly. of bunch will give you the one play touchdowns on pretty much every other coverage. Pretty much. So I don't. You barely can run cover three. You and, can't even run cover two versus trips. Like it's you're talking about you post run. shot, like being the best play. Like how is that play is like one of the worst plays in trips, bro. Like that S route is just like a complete bait route. Like it just never is open. No matter what, like you're gonna get the worst animation on that, on Bro, that throw, like every, that's every time. What? That is always open. If you don't use, the, Bro, the, 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 the S round PA push shot is horrible. Take, take like you time. get the worst animation uh, ever, like ninety percent of the time. time. You have to throw it at the perfect time, or you're gonna get a terrible animation, and the ball's gonna get knocked out. Like you can't, you can't highball that route. Like like you can every route in bunch. The the post, both of them. First of all, both of them routes are trips that. That PA slot post, the post gets open and cover two, it gets open. So I don't know okay. what you're talking about. And then, okay. and then the both of them get open. So what are you what are you saying? And also the the run play is better, but you gotta think that you literally using a running back who you can't give the ball to in bunch. You you literally cannot give him the ball because he's fucking seventy overall. And well, if he gets well, hit that's by because him. they can't run. If they had an inside zone, they would no. have a better running back. No, first of all, they, they use Tampa Bay so they don't even have base no more. Yeah. The, the base that, is good. The base is good. And and, base and regular is better teams, than draws. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, regular. Yeah. Regular that's what I'm teams. saying. Like, like ba base is base is good. Base is just a, first of all, if if people blitz, if people blitz and trips tight end, Sam and trips tight end, and they blitz all their linebackers, the linebacker is gonna come free. You don't even have to do anything, versus inside zone. But granted, luckily for me, I have a running back. So when Troy Apke tries to tackle me, I just truck him and move on with my life. Then yes, I will say the inside zone is better, but I am trucking somebody every single time I run inside zone because they have Apke and Ron Parker, and that's another thing. Talking about trips tight ends better, you got to think that these people that run bunch, they have nobody that they can't man up on their team. No one, they can't man up nobody on their team because yes, they will get burnt. However, 
Me, I like when it's better for people to run trips tight end on me because I have four ninety nine overall players on defense that I can man up to whoever. You can't man up a you, first. You can't man up. A, and right. you really can't how, man up. How about a, this? How about this? I will play anybody in here right now that runs strip side end, and if they try to run PA post shot wheel, that fucking post route will never get open. I will bet That's on that right now. I when no, I won't guard it. I won't use or guard it. You can't. First of all, man to man is. Can't man up. You can't man up across. No, yeah, the oh, oh, man doesn't get open versus cross. That's Ross's ass against you, any coverage if you try to cover. It's pretty much. And you can't man, man up. Alone. You can't man up a whip route. Like uh, you whip route. Yeah, yeah like, you can't man you it can't up. Just man I mean, up everything you know, and what, think you, it's you, gonna you, be bad. Well, you're saying it wrong. Yeah, you're saying it wrong. When you when you say you can't man it up, I I agree. You can't man it up and it'll pick it off. But you can de definitely limit to two yards if, if you have somebody good manning him up. Whip route, yeah, you definitely no yards at the catch. Or, I mean, and, and the whip routes aren't even like that. Like, the whip routes are good versus a cloud zone, of mm -hmm. course. Like, yes. But, like, if you actually are trying to stop a whip route, you can stop a whip route. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What? What do you mean? Yep. Like, what, what you, so, tell me. So, tell me. What are you, what are you going to stop the whip route with? I bro, wanna, like, I wanna, don't, I don't, wanna, I don't play these games, bro. Like, I don't, I want to know. You, you figure it out on your own, like, but, 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 the, the, there's no way we're complaining about whip route. We're just not, we're just not gonna complain about whip route when you, when, when we literally, every play in bunches, like you're trying to glitch, like you're literally just trying glitch to what? glitch. Glitch what? What is that a glitch? What? Bro, you glitch in more zones than troops. You glitch in way more troops than you are. You can't be bunch. serious, what? bro. You Bro, literally, you know, <laughs> there's like there's like 15 routes that get over clouds like that. Like that's the same thing in trips. What? There's you got, there's, closer. You got level sail with that corner when you motion it yeah, in. Yeah, that's the not about? not not like not like a hey, y'all just not like y'all got football. almighty defense, dog. Like y'all just acting like y'all just got greatest defense. I, 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 I don't. No see no no. I I, I'm talking it. about my I players. I do not see it. Bro, what are you talking about, Cliff? I don't. See this? I just, I'm just gonna. Make, I got his own. Come on. I'm man. saying versus trips tight end. Yes, if I man somebody up, the majority of the routes are getting guarded. Not the same in bunch. I can, I can man up a 99 overall on whoever, and they're not gonna play the post. That's yeah, what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, I still I have to learn the post. On bunch. Uh, so, you so, so one defense. One defense. It's be Is it not better for bunch than trips? The man of everybody up. No, it's, it's better, better for trips. trips. No, it's, it's better, better for trips. trips. Yeah, I, don't think, I don't think you can man up anybody on those route specials routes, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Or or Pat Sale. That, that that's another thing. Like Pat, Sale, just, yeah. like Pat Sale, you have to you have to. That's that's why it makes it tough because you have to guard Pat Sale yourself, or or you have to do so much to where every other play is going to work. That's why that's the only reason Pat, Pat Sale is not a good play. That's what I'm saying. Pat Sale is not a good play, but it makes it a good play because you have to play guard every other play. Like trips tight end, you can use a lot of the same adjustments for the same plays. It's not the same for Bunch, in my opinion. That's what I'm saying, Fino. You know, his defense definitely Bunch. I've seen it versus Bunch, and I've seen it versus Trips. Man, at this point, like I said, I just think Trips tight is a lot simpler and easier for anybody to run. That's all. Yeah, it's simple. I don't that, even know what we got at. It's simple. You know what I'm saying? It's Comparing the two, once, once y'all start playing, I, I think Bunch is better. Obviously, I think it can do a little bit more. But yeah. at some point, Mark But it takes more skill. I mean, I, I think it, it's... At some point, it's just repetition. I don't think nothing is really that super skillful. You know, I think, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I just think repetition and play calling is, is pretty much the biggest deal with every formation in the game. Because I do feel like it's not as much as it was last year or even in Mad 17, man. If you know what players are coming, you can stop it. I don't know if I feel completely about that this year. But uh, it's definitely it's definitely play calling. That's what makes a good player, and that's where the skill exactly. comes in. Honestly, regardless of what the offense is, man. But uh, I just think trips tight end is simpler, most because of the, the, the three bummy plays: level sail, inside zone, and whatever crossing play you want to run. It really doesn't matter. Even in the trade wide flex crossing play, it's the same pretty much. Yeah, but if you tell somebody to run counter go, like you can't just tell them run counter go. Like you're gonna get sacked, and and you have to put your tight end on a fade on every every. And lane, I mean, if some, you're playing a decent player, like you have to play, but you're you're tied in on a fade. Yeah, you gotta fade somebody, more, put a streak, motion somebody over. You know what I mean? That's why I, I just think it's it's a little bit easier than trying to tell somebody different route setups for, for verticals or you know what I mean. Obviously, pass sale is easy as could be, but you know, that's all. I just thought trips tight end was a little simpler. <laughs> but I mean, it's definitely like like. I don't think anybody can hack. Like, that's why I wasn't really, like, too big on the argument because 
it's not like you can't act like it's close. Like regardless, it's cl it's close. You know what I mean? That's why that you can't be too far one side or the other. Like, but I, I was just saying like, I was just saying that trips tight end is harder to run because you 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 kind of uh, you're taken away from yourself because you're not using all these route cams. Like, like th these dudes have like 300 cap on defense, bro. Like, like it's just way different. Like, mm. I don't know. It's you can't say that you're not making the game easier for yourself when you really are. That's all I'm saying. I see. I see. I, you can, I'm not going to say it doesn't make you better, but you're definitely making the game easier on yourself when you're using Thanks, these, the, the, the cap, more cap on offense. You're definitely making the game easier for yourself. For, to say you're not is just kind of stupid. You, may, you First of all, you're making it. You need Kim. First, the argument is easy. Casual. We teach them a casual. Bunch trips. You're going to teach them trips. You, the reason you don't you need route coon for bunch because it's not as good. That's why that's the whole. But y'all keep throwing that out though when that's really making the point. That's that's making the whole point of what we arguing. We talking about what's easier. I'm I'm talking about is route specialist bunch easier or is trips with I mean whatever you want easier. Trips trips is 100. Especially trips with playmaker. Come on, man. Trips with playmaker. That might be even easier. That's easy. That's probably the easiest. Rather than I don't just know. Trip. Like, the playmaker is just crazy. I will say, like, for you, probably be because you, your, your defense is so bad. Like, your defensive players. I'm not saying you on defense before you get all crazy, bro. I'm saying your players on defense are bad. Yeah, Apke and Ron Parker. Yeah, Apke and Ron Parker. Like, literally. <laughs> I don't, I've never even seen your team. I'm just assuming you got Apke and Ron Parker. Because oh. everybody does. Yeah. My, like I said, yeah. my argument was which one's simpler and easier to run for anybody, not just you know, the exactly. top 50 man players in the world. That was that's I said that from the beginning. You know what I mean? And I I'll stick to the fact I'd rather teach my dog how to run trips tight end than bunch. That's yeah, pretty much how I feel about that. I, I, I just don't really, I don't really care about that. Well, that, I mean that was the entire argument. That was the argument I continually bring up. Yeah, but that that wasn't. That, yeah, I, I don't know. I would say it's close. Like I, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say it's too far one way or the other. I just feel like like Pat Sale is just such a big deal because it's such a good play. Like especially for bad players to run. Yeah. For sure. But on that note, one, I don't want to talk about trips tight on a bunch a bunch all damn day because we're gonna be yeah. seeing a lot of them shits both in the end of last chance and everything. So both Clef JY appreciate you guys coming by. Blessing the podcast with your arguments. Uh, I don't know who won that stuff for the chat. YouTube, man, whoever you think won the argument, please go ahead and comment below whether it was Clef or J Wall. Right now, J Wall did win the leaderboard battle and he is number one. Clef is number two, but right now it looks like he got a super easy bracket and we're going to look at those later. You know what I'm saying? We're going to move on and look at those later. But Mo, man, we got to talk about. The last night of the leaderboard, man. How did it go for you? Obviously, I, w I was watching Clef, watching the Xbox leaderboard and watching all that yeah. stuff go down, man. That was pretty crazy, and I got a lot. I got a lot of things to talk about. I got some evidence that's, you know, condemning. Oh, I got some condemning <laughs> facts to put out for you guys. You know what I'm saying, and we we'll definitely want to talk about. But how did PlayStation go? What number did you end up with, and uh, how's it looking? Uh, well, when I went to bed. The day before, I think I was like 22nd or something. And then when I um, I had fallen asleep last night for a few hours or whatever, I woke up at 9 o'clock. I was like 27th. So I was like, you know, this I ain't going to be that guy that just didn't play. I, you know, like I feel like if I can't if I can't win games, then I don't deserve to be in it in no way. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I, so I played I played one game. I got matched up with Master. Probably like one of the better people I played. I think he was like 14th on the ladder at some point. And uh, I got pretty lucky in the game. Uh, I won, end up winning. I was down seven. End up coming back. I won the game. And then I didn't play again. I was twenty first. And then, man, these last. I'm not even gonna talk about the last. We don't even got to talk about the last hour. We could talk about the last three minutes, really. Oh, the last because, three minutes got crazy. Uh, you know, we ain't even talking about people getting free wins, like. We got. I think. I think everybody's got to talk about that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, this person got free wins. This person got free wins. But let's talk about these people taking losses to duck the fade from people. I mean, like, how, how does that work? Like, who who did this? I, I need names, man. This the podcast. Hey, this ain't this ain't Twitch chat. Hey, I, when I say there was like three or four people that were seventeen and Henry was sixteen, and these dudes just kept taking losses and kept taking losses to avoid this kid. To avoid Henry, I, little ass. To, to avoid Henry, bro. Oh my. 
God damn. I'm not kidding. I've seen like three or four people in that set number 17 slot in the last five minutes, and I, I put that on my dad's grave. Jeez. In the last th three or four minutes, there was four different people in the number 17 slot. Okay, well, let's take a look at Now, this was given to me by Needy Gaming's official stat uh, analyzer, the statistician, the person that knows everything about shit that I don't know about. That's Jay Bird. He has all the information as soon as it pops. He actually DM'd me this probably at 3.15 a.m. And now we're looking at this is the 301. J Jay Bird is so, is so official. He has a 3 o'clock bracket and he has a 301 bracket. So, if that surprises any of you in the chat, I feel bad for you. Yes, yes. Jay Bird definitely is on top of he's on top of everything. Man. But this is definitely what it looks like now. And you said Henry was sixteen. On this he's fifteen. Now, I don't know if okay. this is right. So the people around so people and he played it on this, it looks like he's playing Master in the first round. So Master should have talked took some L's. But I need to know who were the people that were out here taking L's to avoid Henry, man. I so people in twenty two, Madden Elite, nineteen. I, uh, I think Madden Elite might might have might have ducked the fade. Okay, okay. Jeez, let me see. So this is what it looks like now. It looks it's got you playing Pony in the first round, then probably oh, Glover or Wild, Joke versus Truzy in the first round. That's I was pretty happy with uh, what I thought was my pool, but I, I don't think that's not what I had thought it was. But I was pretty happy with what I thought because I'm pretty sure I played. Uh, Six cents in the first round. He he had taken a loss too, but I don't know if it counted or what. Because it, it looked like there were some people who got in a game that were trying to lurk people who were maybe trying to get free ones just to extend the game to 301 and then get out the game. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Now, this is uh, – so at what point were you, were you ever close to being out of this? Because it said this one was no, – never. You were never like 28 or 29. No, or I, was, like I was – like I said, I said, I think I was 26 or 27 at like 9 o'clock, and I played Master, and it took me to 21, and I, I never moved. No, you just stayed there for the rest of that I one stayed, game? Yeah. Played? Oh, yep. So how so were you like looking at it every half hour or so or something? I mean, I was like I was definitely I was looking at it, but more so for uh to see to see what was going on more than you know me me being worried about where I was at because I knew I would be all right. To see all the action, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, Xbox. Xbox. I don't know how crazy it got, but supposedly like drag was uh, other people. T more was eighteen and he's not in it anymore, and it's just wild shit happened. And right here, obviously, like I said, J Wall's number one, Clef is number two. And from this, whatever this may be, it uh, pretty much, uh, what you gonna call it? It looks like Clef pretty much has a easy bracket. But that's a, we, these are all Let me see. Scroll change. down. Scroll down a little bit if you can. They were saying they were saying to um, scroll down on the the Xbox okay. or on the PS4 as well. They said they didn't see the bottom side. Too. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, I can put these in. What you gonna call it too? Clef and it looks like from right there, Clef and Joe Rice would play each other to go to the Final, live event. Yeah, no Final Four. That's that's PlayStation. Yeah, Joe, they would play Final Four, which I mean, you can't get mad at that Final Four out of this shit. That's yeah, like, exactly. That's, like, that's, that's what I was saying. Like, I I thought my Final Four matchup was pretty tough. Like, but but outside of that, like, I was okay with. with you know what I mean? So Drag was eighteen at three a.m. Well, so that, that that's good. Like, what the hell? Eighteen, but like. All right. I think, personally, I think 32. I don't know if it's a good number of people. I think every tournament should be 64. I think that 129 should or whatever the hell that 96. Mm -hmm. I think that's a little wild. And I mm -hmm. think 32. If you remember last year, the first tournament to the online section was only like 32 people. Like, because they had all the challengers in the beginning. And yeah. The online part was only 32 people. And it was some people didn't make the online. I remember Bugs was one. Oh, I don't need to play that. I'm going to win one of these. We ain't gonna talk about how dumb that shit was. I think it's tough because you know there's probably like a group of forty on each system. Like I would say forty from each system that are, you know, pretty passionate about Madden. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah. I would say I would say like forty is probably the right number. So you might as well just do sixty-four. Let everybody let everybody fight. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, and, and we, we ain't gonna have people doing this crazy stuff like looking crazy. Like, because I I can promise you if they are auditing people, these these brackets are gonna look a lot different, man. Like a lot a lot different. Tell me my point. Like, what can they do? Like, even if they see, like, the last five games, right? Yeah. At what point is it, okay, this is an obvious win. This is an obvious, you know, free win. Or Especially, you got to think, there were some people that were smart and was getting the free wins early. So, so they wouldn't, it wouldn't look so stupid. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, th these people that got wins in the last, like, 
15 minutes, they're going to get the short end of the stick because they might have been hovering when they shouldn't have been hovering. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, because these people had gotten free wins earlier. And that that's, a, that's the thing that's going to make this thing really, really tough is that there's just so many people. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. before for the top four, like, the top four used to get crazy, but it was just one or two like, people yes, you know what i mean all. like yeah. we got we got i'm talking about 10 to 15 people that could possibly be be screwed on both systems yeah. each 10 to 15 each system you know what i mean and and I, I just hope i hope if they do something i hope they get it right you know i i highly doubt that they will from my experience with them they they don't they don't get a lot of things right but i hope that they find a way to get it right i think eventually it's going to be it's like a gray area like okay this, you know, this kind of looks like a free win, but man, he actually mm -hmm. beat, it's actually 21 to 14. Exactly. Maybe it was a real game. I don't really know who this gamer tag is. How close are these two guys? Man, obviously, it could be somebody that's really close or maybe just somebody you paid 20 bucks to lay down. You know what I'm saying? And it's really hard to tell people's relationship. Also, mm -hmm. what really happened in the game. You know, so at what exactly. point do you say this is a free win, this isn't? So, like you said, if they say they kick five people out, you know, what about that sixth person? Man, maybe he had yeah, some games exactly. that were, so it's kind of, for me, it's such a and great that, area. That's that kind of what I'm like, saying with these people that were taking losses. Like, these people that were taking losses to avoid playing people, like, how is that not illegal? You know what I mean? That's just, that's giving somebody a free win. Yeah, for sure. It's you, you know what I mean? Uh, so I think it's, it's going to be super tough. And uh, from what I've already seen, the one person who I know has been disqualified from the tournament and didn't do anything wrong, EA is going to look very dumb if they don't get everything right. Oh, because... Yeah. Because uh, young Colin, we had like on on PS4. There's there's a, a mud account, that, you know, like they they play on or whatever. But but Colin played every single game on on, on the leaderboard. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Every single game. And if EA could check that, which I don't think that they could, because they would just see that he did that he played every single game. I I don't think that they can check it. You know what I mean? That's that's what worries me is I just don't think EA really can do what they've lied to us and said that they can do. You know what I mean? See all the games I, that they exactly. I just I just don't think that they can because they 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 would be able to hash out a lot more stuff. Now apparently you know I mean? when Vilma the first club series, Vilma was like going to make the Buffalo Bills, right? Mm -hmm. And I gave them like two or three free wins like the last hour, like just get them into yeah. the Buffalo Bills club series. And they, they banned him and said, oh, you played W the last three three games or whatever. So they kicked him out. He wasn't allowed to go to Buffalo. And so, and I talked to Chow because Chow called me like that night. Like, not like two days later. He called me that night and was like, Dan, did you play Vilma? I was like, yeah, we matched up a couple times, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, we, we're dumbasses. We just like, I just like quit out of the game. You know, we didn't play this yeah. shit at all or anything. So he was like, Bang, damn, the score was zero to zero or some shit like that. Like it's obvious win, so I gotta pull him. I gotta move him out the tournament. I was like, yeah, I mean, I understood that. You know what I mean? So that's yeah. an obvious, obvious situation. But a lot of these aren't aren't going to be obvious, man. People are getting hip to that to the point where they got to make it look real. So it's definitely it's, to me, it's to the point where it's like almost where, I mean, they, it, for them to do something like you said, they already got rid of Colin. They got to continue to do something. But for me, I mean, mm -hmm. the, the biggest thing they could do is just pretty much not do anything really because exactly. it's going to be because they really just want to make shit harder on themselves. If they start, let's ban this guy. Now they become the judge. You know, let's judge which wins is real, which ones aren't, and that's a hard position to play, man. And we'll see what they do as far as trying to play that position, really. Yeah, they make it they make it really tough on themselves, in my opinion. You know what I mean? Um, mm -hmm without they never say anything you know what i mean they're always just like oh yeah the rules are the like they act like people are on here reading the rule book like i, I agree that it's it's there for us you know what i mean like but but it's not like they're out here promoting the the ea page the ea help page or what the rules are you know what i mean so mm -hmm. it, it, like i said i don't know how they're gonna uh like you said i think that they would be better off doing nothing but there's gonna be some people that's gonna be mad at that too you know what i mean because mm -hmm. like th this dude chaos he was like 37th and just like chalked it up like no nah, i'm not gonna play like if, if i'm telling you right now if they do audit people if they audit people chaos will be in the tournament 100 percent, 100 percent. and he didn't even try to fight you know what i mean like he didn't even try to didn't even try to play like and you know that 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 that's good, you know what I mean? Like I personally he should be in the tournament, you know what I mean? Like like these dudes were taking losses to avoid playing people. That is insane to me. Like you you think you're just never going to play him? There's only one person. One person makes it. 
you're afraid of losing the first round. Like, what's it matter? You know what yeah, I mean? Like, to me, I'd rather lose in the first round. Than... <laughs> exactly. Like, I don't want to. I don't want to be on Cali losing. That's for damn sure. Yeah. No, I will take the five grand to go on Cali. I just don't want to be the. Oh, you talking? But I thought you only one person gets the five thousand, right? Oh, I don't know how it works. So you're saying four people go to Cali and then they play like the final four? Yeah, the final I think so. In California, so I really don't. I don't know, but like, I just think like the the, the crazy thing is is like, I, I don't know. Like, I I think that free losses should be just as bad as free wins if we're gonna go there. You know what I mean? That's how I feel personally. Yeah, but and it goes to the point where like, no, you can't watch the game. Nobody streamed the game. Nobody recorded it. Like, exactly. how can you say, oh? I didn't lose that game on purpose. How can you prove somebody lost a game on purpose? How, how can, there's no way to prove that, essentially. It made the game look all right, look all right. And exactly. As far as I'm concerned, if the game ain't zero to zero, I mean, you really can't say it's a, it's a free win. You know, that's how I feel about it at this point. I feel like the, the best thing they can do is not do anything. But it says, you said they already banned Colin. He, he got kicked out. Yeah, but it was it was for, like, a, like a completely different thing. Yeah. Because – because uh, he like played on someone else's mud account, basically. Play, so you he played I mean? on two two different names. No, he played on one name, but like that that person's name that he played on plays mud. Oh, so he played on yeah. like how how Henry plays on the marksman, right? On yeah, the I don't know if he does that. I I'm just I don't know I I don't know who whatever, but I, I'm just saying like, but yeah, but if Henry tried to qualify for marksman, you know what I mean? If Henry qualified on marksman's name, yeah. On the, on the Xbox leaderboards. Even though Marksman never played a game, Henry would have been banned. Yeah, so it was like that. That's pretty... That, that's why I'm saying I don't think EA can really do as much as we think that they can do. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because if cause if EA went seen, they would see like, oh, Henry only plays Weekend League. You know what I mean? Or mm-hmm. whatever it is. So... Yeah, it's definitely definitely a dark time, man. But like I said, I think 64 should pretty much always be the number. I know they made the 100 or the 96 so they could add the 32 people from Weekend League, I guess. But, yeah. I mean, the 64 would be a good number. And I don't think anybody would have been mad if this mm-hmm. tournament was 64 from the beginning. You know, not in the middle of the season make that announcement, but it was from the beginning. It's 64 well, we wouldn't you know, see all this either, you know what I mean? We wouldn't see all this commotion. Like, it would, oh, yeah, it because, would, because, like there's going to be people that legitimately hate each other tomorrow. Yeah. Like, like when these brackets come out, this shit is about to be fucking World War Two out here, bro. I can't wait. Like, and, 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 you know what I mean? Like, uh-huh. like everybody, I, I already know EMB's probably got the draft tweets oh, yeah. ready to go. You know what I mean? So, uh-huh. like, it's it's gonna be nuts. Like, oh, oh this, this I got banned, but this guy didn't. You right. know what I mean? Like, how yeah. many people are gonna tweet that? Like, you know what I mean? It's just like that's why the best thing they can do is just say this is the bracket. Go ahead. Yeah, this exactly. What, well, and what, another idea I had with this like last minute thing, man. What if they like said, all right, this is the weekend the tournament gonna be over or the leaderboard gonna be over, and not give that specific time. But they give you a month to play and say, this is the weekend the tournament going to end. Exactly. We're not going to tell you if it's Saturday or Sunday, but it's going to be sometime in those days. So there's not this countdown to the last second where people try to cram in all these games and everything. Do you think that could work? I mean, it's kind of tough not having a, a, a cutoff, but it would remove all this, you know, last second collusion. Yeah, I think it – I just think it's going to be – they put themselves in a tough spot with, like, this this top 32 because, like – it's going to be so tight no matter what because there are more than 32 players that that are super passionate and want to be in the tournament. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. and and another thing is it's the last tournament. Everybody's like if I get banned, if I get banned, I wasn't going to make the tournament anyways. Who gives a fuck? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like if if you were 40th and got 10 free wins, you weren't going to make it anyways. So why wouldn't you t- try to take the wins? You know what I mean? Like you weren't going to get in anyways. I would definitely Hey, man, you know what I mean? Do everything you can. I mean, that's a good point. Ain't like you can get banned. There's no Madden Challenge Part Two in June, so yeah, that's really nothing else to play for at that point. I just think uh, the leaderboard. I mean, honestly, I I I don't have the biggest complaint about the leaderboard. I think, I mean, if you grind it, obviously the top ten people are the top ten people because they play the game, and it's not like I don't think there's any bums that all of a sudden are a top five player. You know, I, I I've always mm-hmm. thought. Even obviously back man seventeen they had to like fix the leaderboards every once in a while, especially the man seventeen was when Joe and was just at Marku the whole time about the leaderboards. But since they kinda of fixed them, I think the leaderboards have been pretty good. Ultimately I'd love to see a record and, and win percentage hey. and some type of strength of opponent or something. Yeah. That would be awesome. You know, I think there's no But even then you're gonna be like 
like the strength of schedule, you're gonna be like, this don't make no sense. Like, oh, this guy was bad. You know what I mean? And I think it hurts. Like a lot of people play late in the leaderboards. There's not a lot of people that just play throughout. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So like, like, like I don't, I don't know who, who played early, but you know, I know like for for instance, Ice played early. His record is like insane, but he wasn't playing. No one, mm -hmm. maybe. You know what I mean? Like, how do you really? You would have to like take juice away. You know what I mean? As that other person played more games, like. Would his strength of schedule go down like as the other people kept playing so like it would make it really tough in my opinion to to do that type of stuff but but also you would like to see it. i would like to see what what do i need to get ahead of this i, I would yeah, just like to star if i could just see everybody's star you know what i mean like without having to play that person you know what i mean i wish everybody's star was just visible so i can know because people complain about like I play. I won five games in a row, and I didn't pass this guy. It's like you don't. You don't you know really know where this away, guy's at. Man. Yeah, you don't know how far away you yeah, are. You're some, just some behind him. Point system, you know, so you can see where you are on the leaderboard. Say I got fifteen hundred points, and you behind me, you got you know fourteen hundred. Now I know if you win one game, we'll be tied. So now I know, yeah. damn. Now I got to play because one game and we're tied. You know something. To, know that exactly. this is be cool. And the record, you got to show the record. That we got to get over. It was oh, yeah. childish. You know, if, you, if your leaderboard sucks to the point where somebody with a good record, and I don't think that's the case. I really don't think, I, you know, I don't think somebody with a 500 record, people say, oh, they play a lot of games. Somebody that's 150 and 100, I don't think they're in the top five. You know what I mean? I don't think it's like yeah. that. I think, you know, Jay Wall and, and Clef and D Pro, all these guys have good records. Everybody in the top 10, I think, has a good record. And I don't think it's that big a deal where they can't show the record. Yeah, that's yeah. how I feel about that. And I think but, it's something they definitely should do. But I would say, uh, I would say, one i would say one if you went 150 and 100 i would say you should probably be in the top 32 though like being that serious yeah i, mean, I, I think it would be how many other, other people played you know how many games yeah. other people played once you learn that then in compared to other people yeah i don't think that's that terrible but that's yeah. i don't think that's in, in the top 100 yeah uh, people think people but, oh, but the top five i would say shouldn't be but i i think that there's like i know i didn't play enough games to be top 10 or whatever and i mm -hmm. my record's not that good either you know what i mean like my record ain't no 150 and 100 but you know what i mean i think it's i think it's like there's a fine line that like it makes it makes it there are some things that are tough on ea like where they can't do no right you know what i mean but they also they don't do themselves any favors like that's 100 percent fact they don't do themselves no favors at all mm-hmm they, you know, I, I I just don't understand it. They they stay dead silent. You know what I mean? I just never understood that. Like, I don't know. No, I definitely want to see. I show you this because my man Ish, man Ish is a character, and he was the main one that was. On, I'll show you guys this. He was the main one on Twitter. He said <laughs> ban everybody. I think that what he said. <laughs> ban everybody. He said ban. Look what he said. He said manly guys do your job. And blame all these suckers. That's what, like, <laughs> he said 11 suckers. And I didn't get any DMs from Ish. I'm saying I didn't get, he, I, I told him, DM me the people. He said he could name the people that went out there, and you know what I'm saying, and, and, and was. Do your job and ban these suckers, all 11 of them. <laughs> all 11 people, man. That's, that's crazy. Now, Ish obviously has been around for a long time. Yeah. Let me see. Oh, what did he say? Hmm. Oh, Matt Mark who braced yourself. Bands are coming. May the odds be in your Did Mark who really say this? No, 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 no. May the odds no. be in your favor? Ever? Somebody made a fake right, fake this word. <laughs> Yo, and it's and it's fell for <laughs> <laughs> Thanks you. <laughs> Jesus. Alright, where are you? Alright, I think he's I think he's okay. Alright, so that's all. Now now you know I have a little bit little little birdies in the world and they send me pictures like this. Well, it's just gamer tag says twenty two PayPal for the win. Wait, what? So it's just it's just you know, he's messaging people. Please quit. I'll send you twenty dollars. Oh Bang. no! They said go to the second quarter and I'll quit. This is ish. This is the same ish that said ban everybody. That's what he no. said. Yes, twenty two to twenty for the PayPal win. So my question is, if he went ahead and ask one person this, how many people did he ask for the win? Is my question. You know what I'm saying this was sixteen hours ago. Xbox ad. So definitely last night. So it's definitely, it's definitely go from me, from over here, ban all the suckers. Oh, where the hell is that? Where is it? Went from that to now, son. He look, bang, free wins. 
you know, th these are things that you really do just hate to see. You hate to see it, you know, just because some, just some you know, guy that really just, you know, a guy like me, a guy like me roots for a guy like Ish in life. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think everybody roots for Ish. You want to see him do good. You want to see him be successful and everything. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, you can't play. Ish still got all the fence, pictures man. though. Yeah, all of names. You, you, you can't just you just can't play both sides of the fence, Chet. You know what I mean? It's really not. It's really not. Now, it, it, listen. It's not. <laughs> It's not conducive to play both sides, man. If you're going to be the one screaming, you know, banning everybody, you can't be the one in somebody DM asking for a free win, chat. That's just not really, really what the move is, honestly. But, Mo, how many free wins have you given out or gotten in your Madden career? Uh, I don't think I've ever given one. I probably, I would assume I've probably got one. Maybe, uh, I don't know. When I played top four, I don't think I, I don't think I got free wins though. I mean, I would definitely would have taken them. But I, I don't think I really did. I, I was playing the game a ton. Yeah. But I mean, I, I'm not. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not one of these people that's just up here like saying that this stuff doesn't happen. You know what I mean? Or, or if I wasn't, if I was number thirty-five, if I wouldn't have got, if I wouldn't take it. Oh well, hell yeah! You know I what I mean? Feel like every, I feel like that, that's my biggest thing with the man community, and that, that's what you talk about, like. Everybody, everybody gonna try to do something to cheat, and if they gonna allow it, I mean, why exactly. not? I mean, you can't really get mad at other people for doing that type of stuff, you know. And, and I think that's what makes us corny, though. You know what I mean? Is when, when we all like, like it's just like a, it's a fuck you, like, you know what I mean? Like everybody's just like, nah. Okay, I got caught cheating, so this guy cheated, this guy, this this guy, this guy, this guy. Like, just take your L, move on. You know what I mean? Like you tried. But if you get busted, like, how can you really say anything? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you can't say anything. It's part of life. I'm saying it's part of, uh, it's part of Madden. Oh. Exactly. Yeah. I, yeah, I'd be the first one. To, like I said, I told you guys, uh. Jesus, W, you didn't just show the, the person, though. No, I missed it. They saw the bottom of my text. <laughs> they definitely know who it was. Oh, my God, you're asleep. <laughs> Oh, I don't, I don't my have God. a tweet in my notifications. Oh, you're so asleep. What is this? Uh, oh, oh, my. Oh, we, oh, it, look, uh oh. <laughs> uh oh, it's throwing it's DMs, okay? Oh, with, with Journey? Oh, man, we're going to expose Journey ish? Oh, oh my God. shit. Yo. Oh, no. Oh, he's trying to help Prodigy. Oh, shit. <laughs> Ish, what else you got, Ish? Oh, <laughs> no. The Disney no, experience is over, not <laughs> Granny. <laughs> he said I got more. <laughs> oh, Ish. Oh, oh, Ish, keep God. the DMs. Come on, man. Oh, no. Damn, Granny. Hey, hey, EA is sick now. The Disney experience is over. It's over. Damn. Wow. Oh, I'm loving this podcast. Yeah, keep, keep, I'm... hey, this took a turn for the. Hell yeah, I don't even want to. I don't. I'm not even comfortable being a part of this. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be a part of the journey demise. I just can't. Yeah, we can't, the journey. The, shh, damn, the Disney experience might be over. <laughs> how the hell? How the hell is y'all? How does this make any sense though? Like, what? How can Journey do anything? Like, what the hell is he doing? Oh my goodness! I'm right, I'm right, thirty eight five games away from top thirty four, but why? Oh they oh they just didn't want to play. Oh that shit don't count. What the fuck? No, I, I, never mind. I ain't gonna say how I read it. I didn't understand. Yeah, I man, I, I don't know idea. if he was trying to match up with Prodigy. I don't know. Uh oh, old Jay Bird. Okay. What is this? The end. The integrity of our sport was compromised last night. I trust EA will do the right thing and conduct thorough investigation and hold part responsible who broke TLC. Term, is that terms of conduct? If not, please provide game results, opponent name, timestamp, and score for the following players last night from 11 p.m. To, okay, I went from 13 to 31 within this time frame. My guy, T. Moore, needs to be in. Not accusing anyone on this list. However, everyone on this list made a jump during the eleventh hour. Ooh, tackless squid. Ooh, <laughs> FMB monster. Ooh, chosen hornet. 
Chichi Rito, our guy, <laughs> SDW, Stickwork, 90A0. Interesting. Phantom all. Yeah, I don't really know. That's what I was hoping happened. I hope that everybody gets banned and I'm just playing like three people. I hope that I don't let nobody in. I hope I just play like three other people for the for the for the five stacks and the the chance at the Madden shit. Whatever it is. Uh oh. Damn, y'all really exposed it. Yo, y'all ain't shit. Oh my god. Who's this? I don't know. I can't even really see it. I know y'all can't see this shit. What is this? Ooh. Somebody buying coins? <laughs> is this what y'all sent me? Somebody buying coins? Yeah, Some, sure. some guy named Izzlehead? Alright, come on, man. Y'all can't just be sending me any damn picture. I know you didn't come up money and then was mad that the dude bought coins from you, though. Ish, what happened? Ish, we got one picture? You can't just say I had more. Ah. <laughs> uh -huh. I don't know what the hell what this is. Oh, this, this, oh, this was Beast Mode? Beast Mode burnt somebody for coins? <laughs> Yo, no, he did. He said, "I'm buying five mil and disappeared." <laughs> what? What? <laughs> hey, all all power to Beast Mode. That's fucking tough. First of all, <laughs> yeah, I'm burning some. <laughs> I ain't even mad. I ain't even mad. Oh, where is Ish at, man? I need more Ish pictures. Ish let me down, man. This is the one picture you got, Ish. I had Owen was in there saying he's got more. Yeah, Ish let us down, really. He ain't really bring nothing to the party. Damn, Ish, man. do you got more? Nah. We need more work. This is crazy. Beast more burst somebody buying coins. That's good. That's wild. <laughs> I respect <Beast> that. <laughs> 1.5 milli rock for the free. That's an old dumbass fault. Oh, this dude could vouch for me. Okay, that sounds good enough. <laughs> like, what? What, Beast Mode's on a creep Twitch account? I don't know what he's on. Yeah. Jeez. Are we really <laughs> I can't believe Ish was out there sending out all the tweets and dude just, <laughs> dude dude just has the, the, the Xbox picture. I sent you 20. Uh -oh. I sent you 20. Yeah, be <laughs> How would you burn? No, nah, burning somebody for coins. Yo, being a belt winner and burning somebody for coins is crazy. You, you can't win a belt <laughs> and burn somebody for 1.5. The, the hot 60 bucks, though? Yeah. What is you it, 70, that, $70 right? or yeah, something? You can't do that. Yeah, that's no good. 90 physical card. 90 seems risky, no. <laughs> that's all we got, damn. Yes, you let us down, chat. There's no way that's beast mode, though. No, oh, that's what I heard. <sighs> Man does not have the worst community. Yeah, I agree. I don't know why people say that. Yeah, like... people are tripping. Yeah, yeah, wow. I heard people bitching about MLB all day today, about bloop singles and all this other shit. Yeah, yeah it, it's, that is shit is wild. But did anybody expect different, though? That's my question, man. It, it, I think we would have been more surprised if Ish was legit grinding the leaderboard and not trying to get free wins. That would be more surprising. Yeah. So, that's to me, like, to see Ish name pop up, I mean, the Drenny scandal is really the news of the podcast, though, man. The perfect Disney child was dashboarding, you know, already in Madden Bowl. Doesn't even have to play <laughs> with dashboard. I mean, we're talking about the Disney protege, man, the person they model, they have a different color theme to the Mutt, the Mutt program right now. That's for the Disney program that they're pushing, you know, and to really f find out the journey is just scum like the rest of us, man, is really the, the, the hard part of this podcast tonight, man. Shout out to Disney. All right, man. So since Ish disappeared, he has no more pictures for us. We got, we got belt winners, Sc scamming coins 
We got Disney Troop dashboard in the last hour. Yeah. Nah, that, that stuff ain't true. Journey ain't do that. <laughs> nah, Journey ain't do shit. Because they do be taking all my shit and running with it all the time like it's super serious. Every time. <laughs> Like the, like the time that they wrote the uh, they wrote an article on how Skimbo was really a rich guy scamming people for their coins. <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm like as much as I could joke with it, all it takes is like one person to take this shit serious, and it's yeah. just over. So Dream did not do anything illegal, but I mean that time they wrote the article on Skimbo stealing <laughs> being rich. So, so what do you think is going? If you had to say what you thought was going to happen, what do you think is going to happen? What with the, with the bands? With the bands or no bands, what do you think? They're going to... They can't not do anything. Because... Yeah. First of all, they, whatever they do is going to be bad. They, they have... Yeah. They, whatever they do... They can't do right. Bad. 100%. That's a fake journey joke on Facebook. Let's <laughs> 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 talk about new experiment. Let's find out how many journey joke on Facebooks there are. <laughs> I can't lie. Chatting on Facebook is pretty crazy, too. I can't lie. <laughs> The uh, Facebook yeah. chat. Where are we at? All right. How many jokes? That might have been the funniest thing Trini ever said. <laughs> it's a fake journey joke. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's see how many journey jokers. Journey joker. There it is. Oh, there's a couple. Only two with pictures, though. I think is only the two with pictures. Yes. Only there's two a... with pictures. The, the, the third one down is definitely journey before he... Oh, matter. this is an old journey. Yeah, this might be. This might be middle school. It definitely is. <laughs> <laughs> 2011. There's no way. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn, there's really no other journey jokers. Damn, this is exposed journey some more. It's really only what? Man, that's crazy. You are really the only journey joker in the whole world. This isn't a real person. That surprises you. I mean, you think it's another Albanian? With, I mean, Drini is probably just like the Drew of Albanian. It can't be There's, like, you know what I mean? Is, you think Drini's uh, like a unique name in Albanian? Yeah. I don't know if Drini's a unique name in Albanian. I think it's just Drew or like something like that. I'm saying. Let's go take a look. Damn, is there, how are these Drini pictures? Okay. <laughs> this, this is it? <laughs> 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 yeah, the journey's a funny dude, man. <laughs> Jeez. Damn, this one an all star for Journey when he won uh Coach K up in New York. Damn. Alright, <laughs> right, I'm done killing Journey. Cause he did not, like I said, he didn't do anything wrong. So YouTube Twitch, all you guys do not start airing our journey. The Disney movement is still in effect. All he did was try to help out Prodigy. That's all. Doesn't really count. But anyway, anything else you want to add to the show, Mo? No, nah, I'm good, man. You good? Well, I appreciate you coming by, talking a little bit about free wins and bunch and trips, which the shit doesn't matter. But I am going to run trips in weekend league. I think I don't know. I might do. <laughs> I might do ten trips, ten bunch. Let's see how we do. And Best go, of luck. Go fifteen and eight. <laughs> but I appreciate you coming by for real, man. We wanted to do this a little more often. No doubt, man. All right, my guy. That was serious, Mo. Belt winner himself. I'm saying, Chad, I appreciate you guys coming through, man, for real, man. It, it was a lot of stuff to talk about, man. I love the trips and bunch debate. Obviously, you guys learned that not all man players are, you know, equal when it comes to talking and debating. You know, I think Jay Wall, like I said, he's only eight years old. So once he gets a little older, his hairline can get pushed back a little bit. He's going to become a little more able to speak and a little more pronounced in his presence. You know, I don't know about this 31-7 to game. I think they made that up. And I will not forget that time Jay Wall, his first appearance on my podcast was to and threw me under the bus, which was pretty crazy when we really think about it, chat. And, uh, but I'm glad we talked about trips and bunch. But like I said, YouTube, Hit the, hit the comment section, man. Which one do you think is easier to run? Not which one's better, which one's more annoying, but which one's easier to run? Also, which one gives you more trouble when you're playing Weekend League? Would you rather defend Bunch or would you rather defend Trips? That's another thing you got to put in the comment section below, man. Also, man, what should EA do about free wins? My, my solution to this is not do anything. I think that's the best move they can make. 
whether they put Colin back in the tournament, but because it was such a gray area to what's a free win, what's not. We really have no idea what their what the what their capabilities are as far as seeing who won and who not who lost and, and who gave a free win, this, that, and the third. Obviously, I think they should use the Madden League Ops Twitter, put the bitch on record, walk over to whatever technology they have to show the games, and go ahead and say, look, we just saw X, Y, and Z play this game and show the people what they can actually see. That way, that way we're, we're, we are afraid to cheat. We are afraid to get these free wins. Because like I said, everybody's been a part of the free wins, man. Nobody is excused from cheating and mad. Nobody is. I will tell you honestly to this part. As much as I, I, I'm tired of talking about Skimbo, he's the biggest nerd in the world. He is probably the only person I honestly can tell you hasn't bought any coins in his life, hasn't cheated on any leaderboards. Because he's like, a, like, I don't think... The man community really realizes how big of a nerd Skimbo is, but I, I will vouch for the fact that I know he's never cheated on anything. Other than that, I think everybody has found some way to cheat, some way to do anything, and, and myself included. I mean, and, and it's tons of more stories of collusion and cheating that we will continue to talk about in other podcasts, man. But this one pretty much just about free wins, and I really just think EA should show us what they can see. And if they're not going to show us what they can see, that pretty much tells me they can't see enough to make these rulings on who won and who lost. But like I said, I was a part. Like I said, I gave them about three free wins to get in the first Man 17, the Buffalo Bills. And he got banned because of it. So they obviously saw that we played. So I think they should show, like, bang, look, look, Twitter, this is what we can see. So please don't be out there giving free wins. You know, and that's, that's pretty much what they should show us. That way we're not doing it. And also... If they, it's it's hard to ban anybody, but we'll see what they do. In my opinion, I think the best thing they're going to do is not do anything, and uh, just keep it how it is, man. Because they're going to get into a gray area if they start banning people all over the place. Also, man, my idea of cut, not having a set time when the leaderboard ends, man. I don't know if y'all think that's crazy, but I think if if you give somebody a month to play a leaderboard, at you shouldn't wait for the last day. You know, and that's why I think there shouldn't really be a last day. It should be this. We're going to stop the leaderboard on the weekend of May 4th and 5th. But we're not going to tell you exactly the time. But let's we're going to cut it off on Saturday sometime. You know, and then later they come on with the point. But you have a whole month to grind a leaderboard, man. And I will tell you, and most of the people will vouch for this. If you want to be top seven on the leaderboard, the grind starts the week it opens. It doesn't start, you know, the last day. It doesn't start the last weekend. And damn sure it doesn't start the last hour. So to me personally, uh, I think if you want to grind a leaderboard, you got to start right when that shit opens, man. And all the people that watch top ten will tell you, man, I really started probably when it was top when it was uh, the first week, and it's the easiest time to go because a lot of these, a lot of these guys that like you just saw Mo and everything and Joe Rice and everything, if those guys want to try, they think. And see, man, players think they're fucking Jesus, man. That's one thing that they think they, oh, I, I can only got to play 60 games. You know, so they're not going to play until the last week. So the first three weeks, you're going to play easier people. So go ahead, get your wins, move up the leaderboards, and be in position. So that way people can't chase you down. You don't got to worry about all this free win stuff getting in the last day, man. That's definitely a tough way to do things, man. And uh, like I said, I think ending it on a weekend rather than a specific time would be a good idea. And, and ultimately, man, I'll tell you, chat, one of the biggest things, I love I love the name on top of the screen when you play a game of Madden. But if they somehow remove that name, you know, then you couldn't do that or remove, I guess obviously you can't remove recent players or checking on your dashboard who who you're playing. Maybe just find some way to not reveal that to the second quarter, you know, or until after the kickoff, then the name pops up or something like that, man. Essentially, don't have the name pop up in the pregame loading so you can't dashboard or anything like that. You know, maybe that's a good idea. I don't know how, I don't know anything about video games, making video games, making an interface, making Xbox, and uh, it's definitely something I think if the name wasn't there or if the name popped up in the second quarter, because obviously it's cool knowing who you're playing. But at the same time, if it popped up in the second quarter, that'd be way. I think that would be cool. I think that'd be a way to stop people from knowing who they're getting in a game with right away, really. But yeah, I just it's it's tough. But I think a sixty-four person. We talked. I said this a bunch of podcasts. A sixty-four person tournament wouldn't have these problems. 
because it'd be a lot easier to get in there and it, it wouldn't have a small window for people to go ahead and try to get into it. The 64, I've never had something this crazy in a 64-man tournament. Like, if you're fighting for spot 64, you, you God bless your heart, man. It's pretty much over for you, man. That's pretty much how it's going to be. If you can't make the 64, put the controller down as far as competitors concerned. But, um, like I said, this was Needed Podcast episode 25, man. This was Needed episode 25, 25 straight weeks. I believe it was 25. I hope it's 25. I really honestly don't remember what number it was. I think 25 is a... Uh, let me see. Let me check my YouTube. 22, 23. Yes, this is episode 25, man. Yeah, I mean, uh, people buy coins in my packs. But this was episode 25. Hit the like button. Hit the comment button, man. I appreciate all you guys coming by. Appreciate all you guys contributing. Shout out to Clef and J Wall, the Trips and Bunch representative. Shout out to Mo talking about a bunch of. Uh, Nobody is streaming man right now. There's not a soul streaming John Man football. That's pretty wild, actually. Oh, my man Wheels. My man Shopmaster. Oh, my man Jimmy. My man Jimmy shows hella support, man. Let me go raid my man Jimmy. But all right, chat, man. I appreciate all you guys. I appreciate you guys coming out, man. Maybe I'll pop a stream a little later. We'll see, man. But this was Needed Podcast, episode 25.